Hello everybody, welcome back to Brandon Plays Spider-Man. I had the audio commentary loop on, so that was weird for a second. Um, when last we left off, we were on our way to Officer Davis's um, awards ceremony for amazing police bravery um, when we um, dealt with the uh, the ghosts, the, the ghosts, the demons at um, the uh, pier at Fisk's hideout because he got shot instead instead of you know letting me get shot. Yeah, infirmary. But some is my tax bill. Activate towers. I'll do that in my free time. One of these days. I will 100% this game. Oh no! I don't know where that is, because I don't have my radar. Yeah! They'll be fine. I can't be everywhere. I am only one Spider-Man. Yeah, here we are. Time to recognize Officer Davis. I'm going to make a note so I remember what's going on in this episode when I do the, uh, the description. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. It's quiet. Last time I gave a speech. Ms. Steinberg, how could you? If only Ms. Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you say Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. He still reminds me of this kid I know. Or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Which makes you a superhero. Come on, don't underestimate yourself, Jefferson. Honey. Can't believe you, Jefferson. Be littling yourself. Oh, good. Yes, Osborne for Mayor. Before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. So? Wow, the acoustics in this area are horrendous. Although I'm sure that's a deliberate design for the game, just so that the speech didn't cover us up. Super sly, MJ. Super sly. <laughs> I gotta one up you. <laughs> it's funny. But uh, maybe instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I could come over. I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts. Oh, Spidey, don't back down. Go for it. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis, the Department Medal of Honor. I'm concerned. I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. It sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Yay, so happy. Their applause animation just looks so weird. I share this honor with my family. My wife Rio, my son Miles. Miles! I love Miles. I couldn't do what I could. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help. But you won't be able to save them. Who is this random black haired woman? Have we met her? I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. I 
don't see why that would be such a big deal. Oh no! Oh no, the Peter Tingle. Oh no. How did he hide that entire bomb vest underneath his coat? Kaboom, kaboom! And Spidey's dead. Time for Miles to step up. How epic would that be to play the first half of the game as Peter and then to have to play as Miles for the second half? That would have been an awesome game. Uh, and Oh, what a coincidence. All of our main characters together in one spot. What a crazy random happenstance. Alright, six minutes. I can't wait for Miles Morales to be introduced into the MCU. Miles! Um, I know he's mentioned kind of sneakily in Homecoming. And obviously, um, Far From Home hasn't come out yet, so I don't know what he's like. If, whether he has a cameo or something. <gasps> he would be aged up by then. Oh my gosh. That seems like a good idea. Can't Miles Morales is going to be five years older in I mean, assuming he wasn't dusted. And guess who we're playing as? Miles freaking Morales. For some reason, not named Miles Davis. Dun 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 dun. Oh no, things are falling. I better stay away from that. Over there. Yeah. Well, well, that's a basically my foot. And crawling under this car, totally safe, totally safe. Nothing could possibly hurt me here. This is a kind of dumb sequence, but um, it's it's an illog it's not dumb it's illogical is what it is. Um, Mom. 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 Smash that square button. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, save, save mom, save mom. We all can't have all of our relatives die. But this year, at, um, in, in middle school, I had a Miles Morales book that I bought from the book fair, and the kids loved it. I had some class periods who argued over it because I had several reading it. So I then bought, excuse me. Had the on. I then I bought a copy um, on Kindle for my computer, or for my um, cell phone. And so when there were arguments, I'd be like, oh, well, look at that. What are the odds? I have a second copy. Yes, this is the most safe thing to do. Boop, boop, boop. What if they turned around and saw him and just shot his face off? He was right there. Language, there are young viewers here. And don't break your ankle. He is looking right at me. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, they're dead. Oh, buddy. And time for the stealth portion of this game. Where I am probably already screwed because. Through there. Okay, we're good. As long as their flashlight doesn't see me, I guess, is the logic. Ow. 
Ouch. This reminds me of the scene from Jurassic Park when the kids are stuck in the, the Jeep as it's upturned. Wow. The steering column is broken. That's gnarly. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. This direction, I assume. Can't cross yet. Thank you, Miles, for telling me when I can and cannot cross. Gotta find a way around these guys. <coughs> just running, just running. <laughs> Definitely can't see me here. Not at all. Not at all. Those are some pretty good non-slick shoes you got there, Miles. Very helpful for situations such as this. I see you've enchanted them with Muffle, as in Skyrim. Very nice. Let's just stay here for a second. How are you guys today? Are you guys doing well? I don't talk to you guys directly too much. I just ramble or listen. Dad right there. Gotta help him. Yeah, gotta help him. Um, without getting murdered, preferably. Um, let's wait till... Let's wait a second longer and go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, so close, Miles. So close. Gonna scratch my ear, mess up my hair a little bit. It's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Bad times. Bad times. Bad times. No. 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 Get away. Get away. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Don't kill a witness who has seen your face and heard your voice after you indiscriminately killed everyone else in the area. That's dumb. Come on, Martin Lee. Seems very Lion King. And now I'm sad. But, I mean, Silver Lining, you're now ready for your super. You, you have your superhero origin story, Miles. Your parent is dead. And now you're ready to be motivated to fight crime. In his memory. Ah, yes. Thank you, Mother Nature, for always knowing when we're having a funeral and bringing the clouds and the rain. No, up a black umbrella and a black canopy. Straight black clothes. Whoever makes black cloth makes a ton of money at funerals, with funerals, regarding funerals. That's a nice jacket you have there, Miles. How sad. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall. Look, I know you don't know me, but... I just wanted to say, I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or, it all gets easier with time. Don't worry, it's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry, I was just kind of trying to help. You know? You know, I hate scenes like this I'm where a character goes to 
say something, having experience, like, you know, Peter having experience with his Uncle Ben dying, and because he doesn't say anything, he is made out to kind of be the bad guy. It's dumb. If Peter just been like, I know what you're going through, my uncle died eight years ago, or whatever it was when Uncle Ben died, and no, it does not get easier with time. Yes, it still sucks, but you, it gets... I guess it does get better, but but he could have totally just in a, just had a good um, connection with with um, Miles there by just saying, "Hey, here's what's happened to me and how I know what you're going through." Seventeen skill points. I'm sorry, Jeff. I just hate scenes like that because they happen all the time. Like I'm busy. What's up? What? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Spin, the spin, solid spin. Evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Solid evidence is going to be that way. About hey, a mile and a half. Hey. mile and a quarter. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. You know what be really cool? If Spidey could train his Spidey sense, similar to, um, like in, in One Piece, there's this ability called, um, observation hockey that lets you like kind of predict attacks and when it's trained really well you can see into the future a couple seconds so if, if he could do that he would be so much better at being a crime fighter and it would be so cool because that's kind of his thing is being being fast and clever not strong I mean, he is strong oh my gosh i just want to end the video stop talking Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Okay, so um, we're going to leave it there for this episode. Next episode, we are going to get some evidence on Martin Lee to convict him of killing Jefferson Davis. Um, so I hope you all have a great week. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know of any other games you want me to play. Anything else you want me to do on this channel. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Instagram and stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.